the other team and I'll be happy. <laughs> uh, the there, there's, uh, there's, there's one instance where I played Necrolite and, w w and went uh, Radiance and my team was shouting at me to, to build, I don't know, Pipe of Inside because I'm a support. I'm like, no, that's not how Necrolite works. But <laughs> let's focus on this game for a second now. This is uh, in the bottom left. We have our Purple Protoss, the first uh, finalist here. Here's our Dutch finalist as well from Knights Gaming. It's Shark. And in the top right... I'm not sure where Das is from, actually. Is he Swedish? Swedish yeah. yeah, Swedish too. He's from Team Mythology, a green jerk, Das. Yes, and um, he did, I mean, on this map, he quite handily beat, it, uh, beat his, uh, his teammate. I would say he handled himself very, very well. So we'll just have to see what Shark can do to just not fall, fall down the same hole. And it seems like the first thing he's doing, not to you know, fall down the same hole, is not even go for the same build. Yeah, of course, uh, it looks like he'll be going for the standard Forge Vask expand. Maybe a Nexus first. Kind of depends on what he wants to do. Uh, being very active with his scouting probe at harassing his opponent's workers for, uh, well, just because he can, making sure to keep tabs on his opponent. Um, currently 15 supply. Okay, he looks like Daz went for a 15 pull. Which is, of course, a bit more greedy than the 14 pool, but hey, details, details. <laughs> yeah, but you know, the devil's in the details, and it does look like uh, Jacques is actually gearing up to go for that Nexus first, coming up to a 16 supply. 15 is on the very late end of planting that forge down, and 17 is on the you know, later end of planting down a Nexus first, and there we see that Nexus first. I wonder if Jacques actually saw the timing. On that Nexus and this, oh, I mean on that spawning pool decided, you know, I can afford to go uh, for uh, Nexus first on this. Yeah, I think he might have. He, I mean, I like to go Nexus first because I'm a greedy, greedy guy. <laughs> so I'm really happy to see that someone else is as well. You know, someone else being doing the stupid stuff that you do makes you feel like it's not so stupid anymore. Well, I, I had a period where I went where I would go CC first a lot on ladder. A lot of people were just all in you. Like, they would be like, "Oh, I can let him do that. I'll just take all my probes and make a stalker and just go and attack." And I'd be like, "What are you doing? This is silly. Just trying to play a macro game here." <laughs> no, 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 no. Playing a macro game on the ladder is just the same as building a radiance on a necro like mm -hmm. in a pub game. I play pretty macro pretty much every matchup. Like one basing, that's only if I feel really super uncomfortable, like if I'm having a bad day in TVP, I'll just 1-1-1 one, 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 or do a marine tank uh, medevac all in, something like that. But that's oh, yeah. really a, one basing is for me. And a nice scouting by Shark, spawning the early third uh, by Daz. Oh, he, he cancels it. That's some nice mind games here. Yeah, Let's see how Shark plans. reacts. And he plays down the world tour, and this is going to hurt so much for Jacques if he doesn't go out and scout again. But why should he? I mean, why should he go out? We know why he should go out and scout, <laughs> but like, what is there to tell Jacques that he needs to go out and scout again? He saw the third getting planted down. He saw the greedy spy, uh, the greedier end of the spawning pool as well. So like, there's nothing to indicate that any type of aggression is going to come up. Oh, those links? No, not gonna run in. No, no. And he's putting his Chrono Boost into his Nexus at the NXI at this point, so... And Daz has perfect vision of him with his Overlords just floating there, um, seeing really what, what, you know, what's gonna come up. Yeah, Shark see actually them. planning a probe there? <laughs> it's not gonna last long against Roaches. Nope. <laughs> uh, that's the end, in sh like the short and, short and long of it. It's not gonna last very long. One no. salvo, goodbye. We see the roaches have now popped on out. We see a stalker that's on its way. Oh, this salad might actually get uh, fishing of the roaches. He's mo yeah, Daz actually moves moves the roaches around, uh, routes them through his third. And yeah, this salad is going to be quite out of his way to spot those. Yeah. Nice, uh, nice move here by Daz once again. Absolutely. He realizes that the zealot's going to have this in Laga Tower, of course, then walks around. Just now he takes He's a little bit of He's just baiting that, that sell it all the way to the wrong way. And, you know, Shark, he's not going to su suspect the thing. He's actually blocked this stalker out with the probe on hold position. So, okay, now he lets it in, but, um, uh, yeah. Now it's now the way late, though. 
Oh, he has a sentry though, so he might be able to get a good force field off. Okay. No, not too good throwing norm down more cannons. Uh, gonna focus on the forge, which will fall. And, uh, wow, now it's panic time here for Shark. Throwing up as much building as he can to block this off. Link streaming in, Roaches in. Going to fork focus down this uh, gateway. Actually managed to get it down. Probes being pulled, but those are, of course, not the best units that you want to fight against Roaches. And, uh, in terms of actual DPS, there isn't a whole lot left here for Shark. No, not really. The cannons are gonna finish up though, but there's so much. Zerg here, one cannon's fall. Cannon falls before you can get a shot off. Second cannon gets two shots off, then it's GG time for Porja.